Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another video in collaboration with Wix Studio, which is an amazing platform for freelancers or agencies or anyone working with website clients. It really helps speed up your workflow in terms of design, development, working with clients in general. So if you haven't already, definitely check it out. I'll leave a link to more information about it in my description below. So today's video is going to be all about creating a landing page design with the help of Wix Studio. And the landing page is gonna be based on a previous client of mine who owns a pop-up business. And basically the gist of the business is they hire out different locations and find a bunch of really cool brands, host them in this location for people to network and shop and just have a lot of fun so basically I've created a whole brand for this client already and they had a very set way in which they wanted the website to look which is great I mean I did like the website but I had this whole other vision that I wanted to bring to life as well so in another world this is how I guess I would want to design this website for them with the brand that I've created for them I don't know if you guys have had any instances where you're like oh I would have designed this differently if I had full creative freedom but today that's what I'm doing I'm going to share my screen with you and we can get into how I design this landing page Okay, so we're currently in Wix Studio now. I have an idea of the kind of sections I need within the site. So first of all, we obviously wanna have a hero section. We want to have an about section and about the founders, um, and then a little gallery section as well to show kind of the past pop-ups. And then we need to also have a sign up page, one for um, brands that wanna collaborate and another one for guests that wanna attend the events. So, those are the kind of sections we need. And with that in mind, I'm gonna try and gather some inspiration on how I'm gonna lay out those different sections. And one thing I love about Wix Studio is that they have pre-made designs. They've even got pre-made templates. If you wanna go and work off of a template completely or copy and paste some sections within a template, you can do that as well. But I love their pre-made sections. It just gives me so much inspiration when I'm stuck and I don't know what to design next. It definitely helps me feel a little bit more creative and inspired. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to have a look through their pre-made sections and pre-made designs, see if I can get a little bit of inspiration and then go in and design something around that. So let's have a look at their sections. If I click on the left-hand side, it will pop up with a menu with all of these different things from sections to containers to text. And I'm just gonna start with looking at the different sections. So they're all very easily filtered into the different sections. So welcome, let's have a look at those. And as you can see, they're all very well designed. I would use these designs in any of my clients' websites. About section, so this is good to have a look at and see. Services. See something like that, like the little split screen. Um, how it's got those like little grids. I just love that look. I just think it's really clean. So maybe we can incorporate that on one part of the site as well. Um, products, we're not really featuring any physical products. So I don't know if we'll need those. We're definitely gonna be doing something in terms of the team. So I'm just having a look at these as well. Um, projects, this would be good if you're doing a portfolio. Testimonials and banners and call to action. Right off the bat, I've already got some ideas of, on the design and also just thinking about what I was able to create in my last video with Wick, those sticky scrolling sections. I'll actually add a clip of that here from my past video, but I loved that and I wanna incorporate it into this design as well. So I'm gonna keep that in mind when I'm designing one of the sections. And then another thing that I love, if you wanna make your website a little bit more interactive and you know you wanna add some cool animations, they've got sections that are actually filtered by interactive elements as well. So under interactive, I'm gonna have a look at these hover sections. To display what these look like, you just need to press on one or copy the whole section over onto the page and you can just press preview and you can see how that's gonna look. That one's really cool and clean, I like that. And then let's have a look at their click sections. How this looks. I guess I'm gonna click here. That's cool. So I might incorporate that actually within the gallery section, I'm thinking. Let's have a look at their containers. So these aren't full sections, but they're different containers you can put within a section. And I love the designs on these as well. I think they're really modern. So the hover containers again, let's see how some of these look. Let's see how it's gonna look when I hover it. Subtle but fun interactions there as well. That's cute. 
So I've just had a look at some pre-designed sections on wigs. I've got a little bit of inspiration now on what I want to design. And something that I used to hate starting out when I had less kind of skills and knowledge in developing websites was creating something that I really loved and then getting into a development software and just having no idea where to start and not being able to replicate that design and that vision onto a real live working website. So something I love with Wix is that I know for sure that the things that I'm designing, I'm gonna be able to recreate in Wix and it's gonna be easy to do, even if you're a beginner with no knowledge of coding and you're gonna save a lot of frustration. Again, that's gonna be linked in my description below so you know where to find it. Um, but anyway, let's jump into Figma where I am gonna be designing the landing page. So we're in Figma now and I've got a frame ready. I've also imported all of my local styles like my header paragraph and button text and all of the colors um, of the branding. So I'm just gonna start by creating a hero banner. I'm just gonna go and select some images and I'll be back. So I'm just copying and pasting this image that I found from one of their past pop-ups as kind of like the background image. And I've put a, a bit of like a black overlay cause I'm gonna layer some text and the logo as well. So I'm gonna start by creating the menu. This is gonna be a one pager, but I want there to be a menu that links to the different sections across the website. So I'm gonna start by copying and pasting the logo in to start the menu design. So that's gonna go there. And then I'm gonna create some text for the navigation. <laughs> Okay, the menu is now done. Uh, I'm gonna add some text and maybe one of their icon logos just to give it a little bit more of like visual interest. So let's see how that looks. I'm gonna copy and paste the um, icon logo. Okay, so the hero is pretty much done. I have this little section that says scroll to discover and I wanna add like a little mini arrow there. And I'm thinking in Wix Studio, we can set a repeat animation to kind of go up and down. So it's like hovering up and down a little bit. Okay, hero section done. I already know things I'm gonna add in terms of movement and I wanna make the text and the icon logo come in in a really fun way, which is all gonna be possible within Wix Studio. So we're gonna leave that for now and move on to the next section. That will be the about section. And I mentioned earlier that I really loved the sticky scroll effect that I created with Wix in my last video. So I wanna do something similar on this about section. So we'll see what we can come up with. I know I wanna give this section a little bit more color. And then I want to add like a line of color to kind of separate the two sections. And I'm going to add a little bit of information. Okay, so I've created the text on the left hand side and I want this to be sticky in this position as I'm scrolling through their different kind of brand values. So I'm gonna have the brand values on the right side as little cards, and then those can scroll on top of each other. So I'm gonna try and design that out within the section and kind of incorporate like different brand colors in there and make it quite fun. I also have these brand icons that I've created. Let me show you. So I've created these um, brand icons to go with the branding. So I might try and incorporate some of these within the website and the brand values part as well. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so I'm gonna see how this looks with the other two brand value cards and then I'll get back to you and see if I wanna change anything around. But I think I might keep them within this um, layout and just change the colors and change the icons. So let's just copy and paste some of these and we'll see how it looks. <laughs> So we're 
we're back and obviously this looks a little bit strange because it's not the live site and I think it's going to look really cool in Wix once we have all of the sticky positioning set up and we can just see how the cards overlap one another. So I think we can move on to the next section and I think I'm going to break up this section again with that pink line that we had at the top. Okay, so I'm going to extend this so we've got space to work on it at the bottom. So the next little section is our gallery and I'm just going to go back to Wix to remind myself of that section that I really liked for it because I remember it was one of the click sections. So I think it was this one. So it starts off like this and it opens up. So I think that's really cool. I'm going to use that. So to start off, it's spread out like that. Okay, cool. So this is going to be the gallery section. I'm going to make the background a nice cream color, I think. Yeah. And then just going to grab this. What I'm going to do is copy in some imagery and will recreate that kind of section within Wix. Okay, so the pictures are in. Now I'm just gonna remind myself what that... Okay, so there's like a little circle here that you click. I might recreate something like that and make it a fun color. So I'm just gonna make a circle. I'm going to give this a little bit of an outline as well, just to make it pop a little bit more from the picture and group these together. Make it a little bit bigger. Okay, cool. I think that looks really cute. So that is the gallery section all done. I'm now going to move on to the founder section. Um, and I really liked, there was an example in Wix that I really like with the grid layout. I think it was under, yeah, so it's something like this. I really liked, so I'm going to add a little grid section onto the design as well. So I'm going to start with the founder section. So what I'm going to do is make this a little bit bigger so we've got room to work with. Okay, cool. So that's the founders bit. And I don't want to add too many interactions all over the place. I want to use them sparingly so that it doesn't feel like overkill. So we've already got that hover interaction here. Here, what we can do on Wix is just add some cool like entrance animations and also play around with some text animations just so that they fade in in a nice way, but we don't need to do anything too over the top in every single section. Um, and I'm gonna create another section of this grid below. I think that section's good. We've got that little grid section going on with our founders work with us. And the last two sections we need now is the sign up to the guest list section, which will be another form. And then the footer, which will be the last thing. So I might just make the form underneath a full banner, kind of like a call to action kind of um, form. So I'm gonna give a little bit more space. <laughs> So 
now we're going to go into the footer, which is the final section. So I'm just going to add a little bit of a differentiation between this and the footer now. So I'm going to copy over that pink line to give it some consistency throughout. And then I'm just going to create a really simple footer. <laughs> So this is how it looks in presentation mode. And just to walk you guys through, when I develop this in Wix, things are gonna be moving in. The S is gonna come from the side. The text is gonna pop up in a fun way. And little scroll to discover section is gonna hover up and down a little bit, I think as well. Um, and then we've got this section, which like I mentioned, it's gonna be a sticky scroll. So I think that's gonna look really cool with this staying in place and then these overlapping each other. And then we've got the Owl Gallery section, which again, this is inspired by the Wix Studio section as well. So when we click on it, it's gonna open up like this. And then when we click on it again, it's gonna condense into um, like a stack of cards almost is how it looks. And then we've got the Grid section with our Founders and then the Work With Us section with a little form here. And then the Sign Up to the Guest List followed by the Footer. so that brings me to the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you gained a little bit of inspiration if you're in a creative rut and you need some ideas for your own websites or client websites um, and if you are don't forget to check out wix studio because they have so many different designs and templates and it just makes the workflow so much easier again that's linked in the description below for you guys to go and check out stay tuned for my next video because i'm going to be showing you how i develop the entire landing page that i just designed with in Wix Studio, which will be such a fun one. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like videos like these, don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up down below and I will see you guys in my next video.